as you can see from my local new weekly newspaper. We have plans afoot to improve the East Key and watch it, which has been left in the doldrums ever since the grand scheme by Urban Splash never amounted to anything. Urban Splash, we're going to build a great big uh, tower block virtually on the East Key. But they had some good ideas as well as some impractical ones, but they've not done anything even though they were given permission to start so they've now lost the contract and another group of people have come along now which are composed of quite a few local people who've got their own plans and i thought i'd walk around and watch it this morning a little bit and describe what they had in mind so i've come on down now to uh, the area where all these changes are going to be made and I thought I'd point them out. You know, the whole idea of these changes is to make watch it more attractive to visitors. And uh, a lot of the people who come by road, this is the first thing they see as they head on down towards the main street of watch it, Swain Street. The old railway goods shed there, which is now housing the watch it boat museum, is one of the first things you see. And the Onion Collective wants to make that much more attractive and what they propose to do is smarten it up considerably and above uh, Cliff's Cab's taxi office that part of the wall will be glazed so that you'll be able to see some of the ships, the boats in the museum as you drive on down. And to make it safer and easier Instead of a road surface that's just outside this old bus stop, there will be a pavement curving around from the base of the footbridge where passengers will come off the trains. And there'll be a pavement right around the front there of Cliff's Cabs and the side of the Boat Museum so that people can walk in relative safety. efforts would also be made to make this wall more transparent so that people can walk by here on the pavement for safety and see again more of the contents. Uh, one of the first things you'll notice here, once the changes have been made, there will be a single level building starting near the entrance of the Bird Museum and travelling perhaps as far as the end of that white wall on the station will be a new visitor centre for Watch It. It will be run in parallel with the one presently on the Esplanade. We will lose a little bit of uh, videoing space here. There's also a key on what filming trains. But the other proposal next to come along will be a raised walkway more or less where those green bushes are the, towards the centre of the picture that will gradually climb up in height and follow the track layout as far as the level crossing. So those of us again who like to film trains, in theory should have a very nice vantage point there, again well clear of any traffic. Car parking will be unaffected by this because it will be in the area where this greenery is at the present time. Just thinking how unusual it is to see uh, no cars whatsoever in watch its car park this morning. Probably because it's been raining solidly for a couple of days, it's only just stopped. No one fancies coming out today. 
And then when you do this walkway, will take you along here, gradually getting higher than the car park that I'm walking on the edge of now. And of course, giving you much better reviews of the railway than we've presently got. There's only one or two places where people can sneak through the bushes here to get a view of the railway. That's, of course, unofficial. So not only could you, of course, get a good view of the railway, you would also be looking down at what other features there are in Watchet to attract you. And I would imagine, although I'm not absolutely sure, but I think this walkway will be dead in line with and at the same level as the path that spreads out from the level crossing over here. By the time you reach here, that's probably about five or six feet higher than where I'm walking. So people wanting to get to the level crossing have a much more gradual way of doing it. significant changes will be the erection of new buildings here, new buildings here, and of course a widening of this path up here. And just at present there are little places where there's a small gap between these buildings where you can look over the marina. But that's going to be made much more of a feature, like this, that the gaps would be wider between the buildings and the level of this path would be extended out there to the front edge of the buildings and uh, people could stand there and look at the view. And of course that's repeated all along here, at the same time the buildings will be modernised, better facilities for the people who, who've got their boats in the marina, and a better view again for people who go along this path. At the moment you've got to fight your way through the undergrowth to get a view, but uh, there would be platform is virtually out to the edge there where this view is going to be much more readily approached and appreciated. Down here we've got several ex-shipping containers which are full of artist materials and displays and there's a little courtyard yard in the middle there where demonstrations are sometimes held of uh, things like um, ironmongery and uh, anything to do with artistic devices. And there's going to be a building covering the top of these, still leaving the open courtyard below, where more uh, um, artistic followings can carry on. And there's even thought that there might be room there for drama productions to take place and places where people can change into costume, that sort of thing. And at the same time it will give people a much better view over the marina and over the railway here. There's a gap here. Again, 
all these views will be taken that much further out, they'll be closer to the marina. And that's why the muddy path will become much more navigable at any time of the year. From memory, I think it was an idea of, a, of having about four little groups of buildings all along here doing various useful things. And uh, the buildings above the containers will have walkways around, again, giving a very much better view of the railway. And that old building there where people can work under cover. I believe it's going to be demolished, but something similar erected a little bit further along, near the sea edge. And provision is, is to be made that that crawling crane will still be able to get along the whole of the edge of the marina to lift boats in and out. And this is one of the best viewpoints of the railway just here, where you see trains coming around the corner when they're running, which of course they're not now in November.